you would like to rid the world of religion. Is that, is that too strong? Uh, that's not too strong. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, all right, good. And, and so when you say that, here's my question. Um, uh, are you saying that the structure and the history of religion is something that you just want to get rid of? Or are you saying that you want to get rid of what some people do in the name of religion? Do you make that distinction? Is that one that's relevant? Uh, I certainly want to get rid of... Well, um, I, I, I see virtue in the effect that religion has had on human culture. I mean, I see virtue in music and, and art and things like that. Um, I, but if we think of religion as providing an alternative idea for how the universe came into existence, how life came into existence, that kind of thing, then um, as a scientist, I want to get rid of it. Um, so, um, I mean... Which I agree with. Okay. Well, what part do you not want to get rid of? Yeah, then? good. <laughs> so, so um, well, let me just give you a, an example, and you okay. tell me where you come down on. Okay. Maybe that's the most okay, straightforward good. way of doing it. So, um, you know, in, in Jewish... So I'm Jewish. Um, uh, maybe a few others in, in the audience. Um, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, and um, so, so, not all, of course, but... but Many Jews here in New York view their religion in the following way. They're willing to cherry pick it for the parts that enrich their lives. They're willing to throw away the parts that are archaic and just have no place, you know, in, 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 in the modern world. Um, they're willing to view it as um, almost poetry, almost as, as fiction literature, with the one difference being that it connects them to a long lineage that makes them feel part of a larger narrative. Is there something that you don't like about what oh, I just said? Oh, I get that totally. I mean, I, I have no problem with that. No problem with that. No, no. Uh, I, because, um, I mean, you, you, you have a heritage, you have ancestors, you, yeah. have, you have literature, you have... I mean, that... It, it's the same as I feel, uh, you know that you feel too. Um, a, a connection with Shakespeare. I yeah, mean, with, right. You know, it, it, I, I don't have any problem with 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 saying, um, I have a Christian heritage, a J Jewish heritage. In the case of a Jewish heritage, you have an even stronger reason, which is the persecution of Jews, right? Um, which has happened through the centuries, and perhaps most notably in the 20th century, but early centuries too. Um, this is a very powerful reason for a kind of loyalty to a, um, a tradition um, where I part company with it, as you do, is in, in w w where it makes claims about the universe and, and um, the, the, the nature of life and yeah. that kind so, of thing. So when you, when you say, just for my own clarity, when you say that you, when you agreed and everyone sort of cheered, which is sort of fun, uh, that you wanted to rid the world of religion, I wouldn't have thought that this would then be your reaction to my description. Well, I, I, I suppose by religion, I meant the scientific um, falsehood of, yeah. of, um, of, of, of religion. I did, not, I did not mean tradition, because, because um, there are the Jewish tradition and all sorts of other traditions, and tradition in lit literature, tradition in art. Right. Um, I don't want to get rid of that. So then I wonder about, about the following. So religion as a, you know, as a word, you know, a few hundred, five hundred years old or so. It's not one that really goes back to uh, archaic times. So, um, and, and there are some who f have thought through the history of religious development and have indicated that the use of religion in the ways that you find utterly unacceptable is relatively recent, a relatively recent development. So, if you take this structure that, you know, go back a handful of thousand years, wherever you sort of want to, you know, uh, view its origins, you know, uh, 1,500, 2,000 BC, something of that sort, let's just say, um, uh, does it not feel that you're focusing um, um, so intently on the last part of the development of that structure in a way that 
at least as I've heard it, and it's different from hearing it tonight, which is very interesting for me, wipes it all out by virtue of what's happening now. I'm skeptical of the suggestion that uh, the scientific falsehood part of religion is recent. The, I'm sorry, what? That the, that the scientific falsehood part of religion is recent. Um, I, I, I've, I, I'm aware that there are people who say that. Yeah. Um, and I, I think they're wrong. I mean, I, I just think if you, if you go back to... Uh, the Old Testament, it's just, it would just be nonsense to say that the, that the characters in the Abraham and, and, and um, David and, and um, Moses and people um, were not interested in the um, scientific, quasi-scientific aspects of it. Of course they were. I mean, they were, they were obsessed with it. They, were, they, were, um, um, they believed that there was a, 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 a person called Yahweh um, who made the world and who actually intervened the whole time, um, who, who, who um, wrought miracles and things like that. Um, I think it's Karen Armstrong who's, who's made, the, made the case that, 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 that the scientific part is recent. I, I just, just think that's not historically accurate. <laughs> 